The imperial woodpecker was the largest species of woodpecker in the world before it was declared extinct. But some people believe the imperial woodpecker still exists in parts of Mexico and maybe even Texas. Today let's take a look at the story behind the imperial woodpecker. The imperial woodpecker is known as the Mexican ivory-billed woodpecker due to its uncanny resemblance to the other allegedly extinct bird. Unfortunately, there are no known photographs of the bird or audio recordings, but there is some footage shot by a dentist in 1956 of an imperial woodpecker that gives us an idea of how they behaved and acted. The burl was a little over two feet in length with a rather large ring span for a woodpecker that was described as an impressive sight to see. The bird is thought to have gone all the way up to Arizona, but by the early 1900s it's reported that their range was just Mexico. They preferred open montane forests along mountains with plenty of trees and insects, and it's theorized that they even traveled in small groups between four individuals to up to 12 in a single group. Much like the ivory bill, the habitat of the imperial woodpecker was devastated by logging and human encroachment. This led to a rapid decline of the population and it was suggested in the late 50s that the bird was more than likely extinct. However, sightings still persist in pockets of Mexico which leads some researchers to believe there may be a small isolated population barely hanging on. Many research teams have tried to look for the bird, but there's a slight problem. The area with these sightings are fiercely guarded by drug cartels who have been known to shoot at and chase off people who wander into these areas. This was incredibly annoying when there was a rash of sightings in the 90s and early 2000s but a proper investigation was never conducted. Many people believe these small populations might still exist because of the lack of modern day human encroachment in these areas. The sightings from the early 90s to the early 2000s might suggest that a small population is surviving and maybe even expanding, but that the reason no one has seen any today is because no one goes looking for them which is probably the best thing that could ever happen to the Imperial Woodpecker.